Leaving for Chicago. It's literally fucking 4.20 a.m. I was up at 3.45 a.m. What the fuck? Who the fuck gets a flight this early? Me. I did it. I did it. I did it. It's like, which one's cheaper? <laughs> That's when I choose, but... Yeah, just waiting for my Uber. I scheduled an Uber and then I got notified four times saying no one was available, but then I go on to Uber and there's 10 cars around me. So Uber figure that shit out because what's the point of scheduling something if I can't actually schedule something? But uh, it's beautiful out right now. It's so fucking quiet. Like some people think like the super quiet, dark morning is like scary. It's so fucking soothing to me. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm probably looking left and right a couple times, but it's so soothing. Like, so fucking soothing. Where is Freddy, my Uber driver? Freddy, where the fuck are you? Here he comes, here he comes. Mm, is he? Oh, okay, he just went right past me. All right, good. Guess I'll just go right back over there. He, Freddy's doing really fucking big things. What the fuck, Freddy? Like, did you, I'm literally standing here with a giant suitcase and a backpack. Like, at what point, at what point did you miss me, Freddy? Come back. Hello? Is he fucking blind? Oh my god, let me text this dude. Like, where is he going? Where are you going? I literally messaged him and said, turn around. You passed me. Vanished. You just, I just I don't even see him. Freddy, where did you go? Where are you, dude? Like, where the fuck did you just go? We made it. <laughs> I just need to find coffee right fucking now. Right now. Right now. Hello everyone, I'm vlogging on my iPhone because my camera lens is all messed up, so just bear with me. I'm pretty sure it's better quality for my iPhone anyway, so um, I have my coffee. It's crazy because I got this from a Starbucks I always used to go from, I got it from a Starbucks I always used to go to as a kid, so it's like, I don't know, it's weird when you're home and like you do stuff that, like especially if you moved away and you do stuff that you used to do when you were little, no? Okay, well. I am now going to meet Dan at LA Fitness. Decent drive from here, I've never been to LA Fitness. The gym that we normally go to and I used to train at and like started my fitness Instagram, everything is in Bolingbrook, Illinois, but they want $20 for a day pass. Like you could go suck a dick because I am not paying $20 for a day pass. Y'all fucking crazy. So we're gonna go to LA Fitness, hit some legs before Turkey Day. And uh, yeah, so I'll take you guys through the workout. You wanna go see it? Let's go see it. I'm gonna go drive, bye. Oh, happy, uh, happy Thanksgiving. That's another reason why I was on here. It's Thanksgiving day. Happy Thanksgiving. Hope everyone is enjoying time with their family, eating, no regrets, no guilt, like just eat, enjoy the time. Um, I hope you did because you'll be seeing this after the fact. So, and then Black Friday shopping. Ooh, ooh, ooh. At LA Fitness. I fucking hate LA Fitness, but we're here and hitting legs. So, yeah. <laughs> I'll show you guys this workout. It's beauty. Come on, let's go. Let's go, just get the weight up, let's go, come on. Alright, got done with the gym. Honestly, horrible leg day. Like, absolute shit. 
um, but I'm about to pass my junior high school, so I'm gonna show you guys. Junior high, sixth through eighth grade, this is it. Good old Oak Prairie. Oak Prairie, District 92. That's where I grew up. It's fucking crazy. Just blows my mind, like I used to be there, right, run track, play basketball, like gym class, social studies, like, it's crazy crazy like how fast time goes how quickly you grow up like damn insane fucking nuts but back to the gym horrible workout like started with uh doing a little bit of single leg and then single leg leg extension and then when we went to the hack squat thingy majiggy like immediately my back kind of locked up and then it just like trash the rest of my workout so at least I got some movement today that's the positive part that I'll take out of it now I'm heading back to my dad's house people will be over in like an hour and a half or so maybe my dad's deep frying two turkeys he makes usually makes three turkeys but because of COVID there's like not a lot of people that are coming like usually that used to come more so yeah it is what it is at least we'll still have a decent sized crowd so I'm excited to have some amazing turkey. It's so good. He does like a spicy one and then like a butter creole or something like that. I don't know. He changes it every year. So we'll see which flavors he's doing, but it's super cool. It's like a tradition he always does. So I'm excited to have that. And um, yeah, I'll probably just have a protein shake post-workout just to keep my protein intake as high as I can today because I'll be taking in a lot of carbs um, come dinner time. So probably just protein shake and then smash some turkey once that's all done. Yeet. All right, going to a donut shop because <clears throat> we're in Chicago and there's places I've never been, so you have to go to them. We're gonna go to the donut shop, quite literally, that's what it's called. You can see, yeah. This is like right by kind of where the heart of where I grew up. Like, if you turn over here, like that area is where a lot of my childhood was. Like, probably like like bad times when I was a bad kid. That was like all done right there. We're also gonna go see like my old house that I grew up, like grew up in for like, I think 10 years of my life before my parents split. So we're gonna go see that. It's gonna be kind of cool. But first, let's go pick out a bunch of donuts. And then we'll go do that and then we'll eat all the donuts. So let's go. The donut shop. Wow, really a fancy name you got there, guys. Oh, I like this. Yes. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah. Someone see what Tasty's does. Oh my Pretty god. Mm -hmm. Look at the cinnamon ones. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> wow. The street that I'm currently driving on is where I spent a lot of my like childhood on like bicycles, skateboards, like you name it. Basically just getting into trouble. We're gonna drive up here and there's this house that I spent a lot of time with, uh, with a friend and the guy who lived like next door basically did, dealt a lot of drugs out of his house. <clears throat> so this is where I spent a lot of time with friends, honestly, growing up, just getting into trouble was this house here and then that house here, but yeah. It's crazy to think like that's where I spent so much time. I had no clue what I was doing. Was I hanging out with good people, bad people? It's crazy to think. Now we're gonna go to my childhood house. So we'll go see that. Okay, so this is my childhood house. This is where I grew up, right here. My dad actually like built kind of like the inside, like he designed the, what the house looked like, like the blueprints, I think that's what you call it. Then this neighborhood was empty when we first like came in here. But yeah, that was my childhood house. Isn't that crazy? And like. I knew my neighbors that lived right here. I'm pretty sure they still live here. Um, I know them. We were all really, really, really close. But back there is the wolf, wolf I can't even say it. It's um, Big Run Wolf Ranch. Big, I think that's how I say it. It's basically like wolves and um, they have like, uh, what else? There's, there's a ton of different animals back there. So I would wake up to like wolves howling. I'd wake up to like, a peacock on my porch or chickens and all of that stuff and that was just like normal life for me from when I grew up till I was about nine or ten years old um, my brother's best friends lived right here but 
it's so crazy to think like how where I'm at now compared to where I grew up going through my parents divorce and like everything like I don't know it's crazy like basically if you're in a hard time right now know that it gets better and you're gonna get through it and it'll all be worth it in the end you just gotta keep your head up and keep going but yeah I wish we could go back there but I don't want to just like pull up back there and him be like what I don't know if he would recognize me I don't know can we get Okay, I'm back home now. Um, that video, this this video is all over the place, I know. Uh, I apologize for that. I was just trying to spend time with family and basically what happens is I record something that I forget and I record something that I forget. So I hope you guys enjoyed, you know, seeing my hometown, seeing a tiny bit of a workout, um, and just seeing a couple things. So thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Big announcement. There's actually a big announcement coming.